Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts back with part three of my Tamiya Volvo uh, FH16 tow truck build. Uh, in this part, uh, I'm going to build this, I'm calling it the subframe, this upper frame, and the towing boom and associated equipment. Uh, this thing is turning out to be massive. It's big, it's heavy, uh, beautiful machine work on the aluminum parts. Uh, really fun to build so far and uh, lots of new parts that I've never seen on Tamiya trucks before in this video. So let's get started. Now as I dive into uh, part three, we left off on step E. So I've, I've got bag E here, I've got my, my muffin tin, we'll get that sorted out. Looks like we need the X parts. We need these two aluminum subframes and they're covered with a with a blue plastic film that needs to be peeled off. First step on the instructions are to build these little attaching brackets. It's interesting. I have no idea what the purpose is, but they're very specific. They want two washers on the screw, and then the bracket put together. Now they didn't mold it in one piece, so they must have some intention for this later, but I don't know what that is. Since this kit's brand new, a lot of the things are are unique, uh, especially starting in this step. There is a right and a left frame. They're not marked. I peeled off the protective covering, but you can see there's a hole here in the frame that designates it as a right or a left, so I put this side together and then these these big holes here have to line up across from each other. And this is pretty much like a Tamiya chassis construction. It just goes together with these cross members and some self-tapping screws. So that's, this is unusual. I haven't seen this part before. Now these pieces then mount at angles to this frame down here and the frame is threaded so there's one here uh, let's see there's one right here so they mount like that and that at an angle maybe they hold this to the main frame I don't know and then there's another one here so there's three on each side so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up and mount these. On the front end, the next part is this battery tray. This is another one of those parts that looks like it's got a lot of fiber or carbon in it. I don't know. It's very strong. There's a couple alignment pins and then it just bolts down. And then these metal brackets here mount like that. Well, you can see I've got most of those pieces mounted. I just wanted to um, show one of these posts that's got a hole in it for a battery clip. But typical to me, uh, attention to detail, they've got a Phillips head screw molded into the top screw head so that you can uh, so you can screw the part down. And I just think that's the extra mile, otherwise you'd be putting something through there and twisting it around. This is uh, much easier. And they want you to line up the screw hole so it's facing sideways. This cover, um, obviously this is the battery holder, and this cover mounts here like this with screws up from the bottom. The instructions tell you to paint it, and normally I would probably airbrush that with uh, semi-flat black. But I looked ahead in the instructions and, and this thing is completely buried underneath the body. So I, I just can't see any uh, real reason to paint it. If I need to, I'll go back later and pop it off. But right now I'm going to go ahead and just mount it and then mount these little battery retainers right here. Well, now it's time to mount this onto the frame. And it just fits over the top like that in these brackets mount into holes on the frame. Now, 
a couple little details. First off, now I know why this is two pieces. In the instructions it says you can adjust this. But also, on this bracket, there's an alignment pin here on the bottom. And there's a hole in the frame where that fits into. Now, if those alignment pins drop in, for me, then everything lines up. But one of the problems, and I, I doubt you can see it here, but when I tighten these up, they're just a little bit crooked. And so what I'm going to do is loosen these screws a little bit, get everything dropped in, bolt these on, and then retighten these screws that uh, mount this. Got that mounted on there, and boy, that beefed up this chassis. It just really feels substantial now. Uh, everything lined up perfectly. I didn't need to do any adjustments. And uh, so now the next step is a bunch of mounts. It looks like body mounts. And they just mount on the sides. I'm assuming, yeah, there's holes for them. These mount on the sides like this. There's more of these mounts that mount here across the top. You can see the holes for them. There's a bunch of them. So I'm going to go ahead and mount all of those. Well, there's a lot more parts to paint than I thought. Pretty much every part on this tree, these two trees, um, all the parts on these trees, this tree, and these parts right here. So I'm going to go ahead and airbrush them right on the tree. I kind of looked ahead. None of the parts are glued together. I hate uh, painting parts until after they're glued. Everything's screwed, so that should not be a problem. So I'm going to airbrush these. Then I'm going to put these body mounts on, and I'll be back. Well, I'm back. I've got all these mounted, these side mounts here, which obviously are going to be for body panels. And the last step in Section E are these shocks and they actually mount up here to the subframe. So that's why they weren't mounted in an earlier step. They go down at the bottom and then up to the subframe. So I'm going to go ahead and get those mounted and we'll move to step F. Well, the lift boom are real heavy aluminum machine pieces. They have a probably can't see it, but they're, they're notched in a little bit on each end. And then the boom extension. Now, the boom extension, they tell you to put a piece of foam around it. They give you some of this uh, stick-on foam. So I've done that. And that makes it not sloppy in the tube. And then this just slides in. Now there's a hole right there and they give you a pin and some clips to clip that in. Now the obvious thing when you look at it is this boom is extendable by popping the pin out and pulling the boom out. Now I obviously see a future making that extend remotely. So now the next step is to assemble uh, some of these pieces that I've already painted. So I'm going to go ahead and get those and start to put those together. So this is the bottom of the boom right here. This piece just slides over here and I'm assuming we'll grip it later. This then fits on like this and the bolt just drops through here to hold it. Take the whaling probably to get that to fit. And a nut goes on the bottom. So I'm going to tighten that up and then we'll work on the other end of the boom. Ah, the end piece is all on the boom. And so now it's uh, the next step, which is kind of assembling the, like the boom pivot. I gotta talk about these parts. These machined aluminum pieces are just like amazing. They're like jewelry. They have uh, just super sharp defined edges. I can't see any tool marks on this thing. 
it's really nice. Um, so there's a, a plastic part. Again, it's got kind of that, that high carbon feel to it, and that just pushes in here. And then these parts mount on each side with a little spacer. Now, one thing I want to point out, and somebody mentioned this earlier in a, uh, in a comment on my last video, is that these screws here drive into the plastic part that is inside this. And, and then this screw mounts into a metal spacer. Now notice they show thread lock on that screw, but no thread lock on the screws that go into the plastic. So that's something to remember. The thread lock only goes on parts that are metal to metal. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. Actually, let's grab one of the pieces. Um, looks like there's a little spacer here. The spacer just drops in. like that. This is a massive piece. It's going to really look nice when it's done. And then MA1 screw looks like uh, that one. And then these these have a an inset notch here to fit over that and then the screw drives into the plastic. Okay, so I'm going to assemble that both sides. The next assembly are these bearing blocks and uh, get a load of that bearing. <laughs> thing is huge. Here's a, here's a standard 5x11 bearing. So uh, that's a pretty massive piece. I thought I'd show this whole assembly. So there's a shaft here that's got a flat in it and it just slides through those. A little Loctite on this. Now The way I like to do this is just put that in and now it's not tight but it keeps the shaft from sliding all the way through because it's on the flat. And we'll put this one in. We'll do the same thing. So now you can see that with the two screws in there, the flat has very little movement. So what I'm going to do is move it right to the middle of that small amount of movement and tighten those down. And that gives me my shaft in the center. There's a couple spacers to slide on here. And this bearing pushes in here and slides on. This bearing pushes in here. Boy, these are, I mean, you talk about a precision fit. It just slides right in. And then a screw from the other side. Our next step is to build this this neck. So the, the boom mounts in the truck like this and this neck fits something like this. Holds the uh, plate that carries the frame that picks up the trailer. So uh, I just wanted to show off some of these beautiful, all these, these are all aluminum plates. Um, all black, anodized, very nice actually two different colors of anodization even. This is shiny and this is flat. Typical um, Tamiya attention to detail, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. Now, this plastic piece, there's a metal frame that mounts on here, and you can see I already mounted one side. And then this mounts to this frame right here, and a whole bunch of these spacers mount with a screw from the other side 
to this place. I'm going to go ahead and mount all those. It, it, it looks like this right here. And uh, get that all mounted up and then I'll come back. There's that side plate with, uh, with the posts on and the side bracket on. This little plastic piece here mounts on each side. It's got some pieces that fit up inside. And then this just fits around the boom. Kind of encapsulates it and there's a come on baby these two holes here line up with these here which we thought earlier would be grabbed by something and sure enough there they go grab that end plate so this whole thing just kind of sandwiches all those pieces together makes a very solid structure and then that'll be, uh, be screwed on. We'll throw one of these in here just to kind of hold everything. Uh, the next step is to build this uh, this box and so I've got this heavy aluminum plate. There's a lot of aluminum in this truck. And then this little box, which I already mounted these two these two frames to. And now the bottom mounts on it. But the important thing is only four screws hold the bottom. And then this slides on here. And the remaining screws go through both plates. So the finished assembly looks something like that with a couple of bolts here. So I'll go ahead and, uh, and put that together. Now step 44 is this little bearing block. Again, lots of unusual parts I've never seen before. These again are machined aluminum. So there's this shaft. To me it gives you a ball bearing for it little tiny spacer okay and then this fits like that there's a obvious top and bottom to this shaft goes through okay and a spacer another ball bearing Got to get them in straight. Then there's this funky little little cone washer that sits on top there, and then screw. that has a, a head on it so we can get it to me a wrench on it. Then this beam, same on both sides, just slides through here. And is attached in the center with these two screws that have a very thin head to them. And that's our towing bar. So we'll get that put together and come back. Well, here's the parts for the, the towing beam. These look fun. Little tiny pin. And the notch on one end is smaller than the notch on the other end. And then earlier I mentioned these new little tiny snap rings like I have never seen before. 
Well, the snap ring goes on the short end of this pin. Then this pin slides up through these holes and then uses a body clip to hold it in. So, I have to attempt to put this little tiny snap ring, oh my word, and anybody who's been watching my videos for a while knows how much I love these snap rings. So this has to fit on there. So far everything's been amazing. Oh, that well, wasn't that terrible. So that just snaps on like that. Fits up through the middle. And then a body clip holds it. I'm assuming that's so you can adjust them in and out or whatever, and probably they'll have some other feature in the future based on that. My frame all assembled. Um, now this, this assembly is a little box, another little box, that goes together and slides inside this box. So again, we have these really nice aluminum top and bottoms. And then these frames just mount top and bottom to make the box with these little screws. The only thing that's important to note here is that, well, first off, there are several different screws they give you. And these are the, the silver colored ones. And second off is that this piece has an end here that's open and that goes on the end with these holes. So you don't want to put it, you want to put it like this where it leaves these holes open. And so it'll be like that. And then the top part will go on and these holes will be open on both ends. So I'll go ahead and assemble that. There's our little box structure our towing frame. So this just slides in here and then uh, probably that one right there just fits through. And a small body clip will hold it. All right, so that completes that assembly. Now the next step, uh, we'll be attaching uh, parts and the winch drums to the boom. So I'll go ahead and uh, get those parts organized. Now it's time to mount some pieces onto the boom and they actually hold the, the winch drums. But let's take a look at this. Uh, these pieces all, at first glance, they kind of look the same but they're all different. This one's taller and that one's shorter and then on the back side these alignment holes are not in the center. They're off-center. Now these pieces just fit into these alignment holes like this and they tell you to use a little glue to hold them and then these plates will mount across the bottom and actually clamp them together. But here's the trick. Which way do these alignment pins go and do you use the long or the short sides? Okay, so if I take a look at the instructions, you got to look really carefully or you get this wrong. So this one mounts with the alignment holes so it's slid down and this one mounts with the alignment holes so it's slid up like that, like that, and then on the opposite side, so this is the tall one. I'm going to go ahead and just stick these on. I use a little of this real nasty rubber cement, but boy, it works good. fast. Okay, now on the opposite side then I'm going to put the tall one. 
so it's facing up, and then the short one so it's facing down. And what that's going to do is it's going to offset our mounting plates. One's going to be lower and offset this way, one's going to be higher and offset this way. So I've got my line wrapped around there. I put the shaft through. There's a little pin that goes through the shaft. And we can drop a nylon bearing on each end. And that just fits in like this. Bearing goes here. Fits like that. Another pin goes through. And then there's a collar with a pin retainer. Drops over the top. And then these covers just mount on each side with a couple of screws. Get that done. So our assembled winch, this plate mounts on here like this. And the winch string goes underneath, mounts like that. It's important to note that there's a there's a square and there's a round end. And so the square end on this one faces this direction. And then this string will run through these string retainers and out through the end. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt that down. And that also finishes clamping that around the, the boom. And then I'm going to assemble the other winch exactly the same way and mount that. All right, so I've got the uh, the toe arm done, got the winches on, pulled the lines through the guides, pulled them down through here. You just tie a knot inside each hook, which I fasten the knot with super glue. So now this pin right here has a clip on it, put a washer on there, and this just goes through here. So, let's see if I can get this in a reasonable time. Just get this through the spacer. Through the frame. Will be the trick here getting it through the other side with another spacer. Not too terrible. Another spacer washer and another clip. So that completes the towing arm, that folds up. Of course this is adjustable in and out, this is adjustable in and out. So now the next step is to mount this arm to our assembled subframe. Now it's time to mount the boom into the, uh, the subframe. I'm running into a little bit of problem because it's getting too big for my bench. But basically, there's some oversized holes here in the frame, and these have a, a spacer slot in them. See how that fits? So, what I'm going to do is slide this down into the frame until those line up, and then the spacer. Sorry, you can't see this too good. Spacer actually slides in there. I'll tilt it and show in a minute here. See that spacer in there? Okay, see those lock it right in. And then a bolt and a washer fit through to hold it. 
and there's some oversized washers that they give you with a nut on the back side. So I'm going to do the spacers on the other side and bolt that together. So there's a, a large hole here in the side frame. And I actually missed this from an earlier step. But this piece here mounts from the inside through that frame. And we actually need that for the next step. So I'll go ahead and mount that on each side. And we'll do the final connections of the boom here. So the final part are these two arms and technically I don't need to do this because this um, tow truck electric actuator is going to replace these so you can raise this up and down um, remotely. But I'm going to install them for now for two reasons. One just to see how they fit and, uh, and two to kind of hold everything solid until the next step. So these, this pin just slides through. I'll do it on this side. This way we'll hold it with the shoulder and slide that through. Slide that through. And then these mount through. And there's a couple different holes here. We'll use this. And then a snap pin goes on the other side. So that kind of uh, finishes the boom. Well, there's <laughs> that back a little bit so you can see the whole thing. It's enormous, um, kind of unwieldy to work on now on the bench, but uh, all metal, very heavy. Uh, so far everything went to get uh, they're great. This is the end of um, part three. A couple little details. One, this folds up and then drops in the locks for transportation, which is kind of cool. Uh, the, the fixed arms have four different positions or five different positions here it looks like that you can set this to, although we're going to replace that with actually the electric electric uh, actuator, which I will be doing in the next part. Um, so there we go, the end of part three. Um, this thing is massive. It's been so far great to build. Um, I appreciate all the comments. Please subscribe. Um, that way you'll know when the next video comes out. And uh, thank you again for watching.